Listen, as long as the Browns are in playoff contention, I'm going to make a playoff path every single week because there's a lot of sad stuff happening right now revolving around the Browns, and we're not going to even mention the C word. Positive vibes only. We are focused on Saturday, finding a way to beat the Raiders and keep the Browns' playoff hopes alive. So with that being said, let's figure out a path to the playoffs for the Browns. Here's the current AFC, AFC playoff picture. Browns on the outside looking in at 7-6. and six. So we got to pull some strings. We got to make some stuff go our way to get the Browns in the playoffs. So what I'm going to do on today's show is we're going to go over every single team that's in the Browns' way, look at their schedule, and try to find some losses in that schedule to get the Browns into the playoff picture. But first, let's look at the Browns' schedule. Here's what they have coming up. A Saturday matchup, and you wish it was Sunday because every day would help at this point to try and get bodies back on the field for Cleveland. They got the Raiders coming to town. Then they have the Packers on the road on Christmas Day. Steelers, Bengals to wrap it all up. So here is my bid for a playoff push for the Browns. Some Captain Obvious talk. The Browns need to find a way to win Saturday. I just don't see a way they can make the playoffs if they lose this Saturday because, one, that's another AFC loss. And AFC losses and AFC records, that's a tiebreaker when you get down to the nitty-gritty. So that's not going to help. Two, if you're going to have to lose one game anyway, which I think the Browns can do and still get in, let that be the Packers road game. Don't, don't go into Green Bay thinking we have to win this game now. Have a little bit of slack for that one. And then you've got the Bengals and the Steelers. You just got to take care of business. But here's the AFC North standings. Ravens at the top, but this is... A very weird division, honestly, right? Because the AFC North at times looks like the best division of football, but at other times, it's this right now. Really banged up and unpredictable. The Steelers are not really the Steelers. They're just a Mike Tomlin hard-to-beat crew. But be honest for me. I want to pose this question to you. Will the Browns make the playoffs? I've asked this question before, but I like asking it because with everything changing right now, so can your opinion. Type Y for yes or N for no. It's the pinned comment on this video. So what that means is if you get hit with the YouTube ad break, scroll on down, reply with hopefully a Y, and then come back up when the ad is over. Here's my take on this. The division may be the easiest route to actually make the playoffs. I don't think a wild card scenario is really in the cards for the Browns. I think winning the division outright would usually sound more difficult, but sometimes you got a bad division, kind of like last year in the NFC East. Remember that NFC beast? Uh, no, the NFC worst. Uh, and yeah, but here is why: the tiebreakers for those wild card rounds they go to the Patriots, who the Browns lost to, the Chiefs, and the Chargers. You want to avoid the wild card altogether. Just, well, you don't want to avoid it, but it's just more difficult because if you get into a fight with the Patriots, let's say the Bills overtake them in the AFC East, they don't have the tiebreaker. They lost to the Chiefs and the Chargers. I think both those teams make the playoffs, which means one of them's in the wild card and would X out the Browns with that playoff matchup. Now I'm thinking about it, that was a horrible P.I. call, uh, lack of P.I. call in the Chargers game. But we're going to move on from it. We're going we're gonna to stay positive. And that's why we got a no bad mojo. Subscribe if you want the Browns to reach the playoffs. I would never say if you don't subscribe, they won't make the playoffs. That's outlandish. But what I will say is the Browns need all the help they can get. If you want to go suit up and play on Saturday, I don't even know if Stefanski would say no. One, because he can't even be there most likely. So you're talking to Prefer or AVP or Woods, and they need all the bodies they can get. So how about you go try it? Honestly, treat it like the movie Invincible, right? You just go out there and do your best and not look too out of shape like this rockin' dad bod. So make sure you are subscribed. One-stop shop for all things news and rumors revolving around the Browns. Here's who you need to root for, or root against, root against, for the Browns to make the playoffs. Ravens, Chargers, Colts, Bills, Bengals. They are all ahead of the Browns. So in order for Cleveland to make the playoffs, except for the Bengals, you got to leapfrog one of these teams. So that's who you're rooting against. And now let's, let's dive right into it. Let's check out their schedules. We're going to go team by team and see what they have coming up, the strength of their schedule, and what I think is going to happen slash a realistic but, you know, need a little help kind of outcome. Let's start with the Ravens, the biggest foe of them all. They've got the Packers come into town. Then they go to Cincinnati, Rams, and Steelers. That's a very tough schedule, especially for a Ravens team that's got a banged up Lamar Jackson, injuries all over. I don't think it's too far out of the realm of possibility to say 
they go one and three in the stretch. Maybe they don't. Maybe I think they, the Rams are a soft team, so I could see the Ravens beating them at home with you know their kind of tough nose AFC North football. But maybe they go two and two. But I, I don't think what one and three is too outlandish to say. Who do you hate, by the way, the most in the AFC North? I've asked this question before, and I don't get tired of seeing the answers. So I'll ask it again. Steelers, Ravens, Bengals, or is it the silent D, all the above? Let me know who you hate the most down below. On to the next team, the Chargers. Here's their upcoming schedule. Huge matchup tonight against the Chiefs. I, I think the winner of this game may very well go on to win the division, honestly. Maybe, maybe not. But for me, a realistic outcome for the Chargers, they go 3-1. and one. And I know it looks weird saying they're going to lose at the Texans, but you can't forget this is the NFL. Any given Sunday, would it really shock you if the Chargers win on the Chiefs, like win against the Chiefs, and then fall flat on their face against the Texans? That's kind of the Chargers. So 3-1, and one, maybe they don't lose to the Texans. Maybe they lose to the Broncos or the Raiders. But I think 3-1 and one for that schedule right there is pretty favorable. Speaking of the Chargers, get us to 200 likes. Be the one that gets us over 200 because that's more than the entire L.A. Charger fan base. They're not real. They're kind of like birds. I don't know if they're spies for the government, but there's no such thing as a real Chargers fan. So help us get over 200 likes on this video by doing more than the entire Chargers fan base out there, wherever they are, whatever cave they're hiding in. Let's go to the Colts schedule. Here are their four games coming up. It's kind of tough at start, easy to finish. Patriots, Cardinals, and then you have the Raiders and the Jags. It's pretty simple, right? I, I think they go two and two. Maybe they split the Patriots and Cardinals and then take a surprising loss against the Raiders, or maybe they beat the Pats, uh, maybe they lose to the Pats and Cardinals and win out. But either way, wherever you want to put the wins and losses, 2-2 two and two seems pretty realistic to me. As for the Bills, this is a Bills team that's just dramatically underperforming, and I think they get kind of right down the stretch here. So for Buffalo, I've got them going 3-1. and one. Lose to the Patriots on the road. Maybe they beat the Patriots in a revenge game, but they have a, you know, a, a week 18 kind of downfall. We, we've seen it before in the NFL, like the Patriots, I mean, a couple of years ago. Remember when they were playing the Dolphins, Tom Brady's last year, and beat the Dolphins, get the bye instead. They lose. They play around with Ryan Fitzmagic. So, yeah, that, that's why I got the Bills going. We'll get to the rest of the schedules in just a moment. But first, we got an awesome deal going on with our friends over at BetUS. They give you a 125% deposit bonus. What that means is if you put $100 in, they'll give you $125 on top of it. Now you got $225 to play with. All for going right there, chatsports.com slash bet. Use that promo code, Browns125, and you are in, and you are dancing with a lot of free money. Bengal schedule. The Bengals are the most unpredictable team in the NFL. I, I would really say that, right? They, they they have they've lost two out of their they've sorry they've gone two and four in their last six games, but they've had some great moments at times. In order for the Browns to win, I think or to get the playoffs, I think you got to see the Bengals go one and three. Win at Denver this upcoming Sunday. The Broncos are kind of a fluky team as well, and then revenge game for the Ravens. They beat up on the Bengals. The Chiefs are good. And then you need the Browns to take care of business at home. That's a, at First Energy Stadium. So realistically, sure, I could see Cincinnati going one and three down the stretch, even though they definitely play better than one and three. But you know, you are what your record says you are, and they've lost the last two games. Now let's get into my projected playoff picture. With all those wins and losses put into the ESPN playoff machine, here's what I think it'll look like slash want to see it look like. I've got the Browns winning the division at 10-7 and seven and getting the four seed. Titans at the top, then the Chiefs, then the Patriots, and the wild card sees the Chargers at 11-6, and six, the Bills at 10-7, and seven, and the Colts somehow sneak in at 9-8 and eight because here's why. I said before you need 10 wins to get in, but then I was reminded every year this happens where it looks like you have to get 10 wins, you have to get 10 wins. And then somehow things just kind of work out, and maybe a nine-win team does squeak in. So why not have a little, uh, I don't know, December madness, a little early for March in my projected playoff picture. Browns at the four, that means they play the Chargers at the five, but at least it's at home this time, and the Browns should have won that first time they played them. But you probably notice no Baltimore, no Ravens. So if you want the Ravens to miss the playoffs, which I know you do, type Crows down below in the comments section because even if, 
the Browns don't. I'm not going to finish that sentence. If the Ravens don't make the playoffs, I can live with myself a little bit easier and sleep a little bit tighter at night. But let me know what you're thinking down below.